29 inches tall? Yep. Today is dilated cardiomyopathy. And what dilated cardiomyopathy is, is thinning of the heart walls resulting in a larger heart cavity, causing the heart to be inefficient at pumping blood. Now with a Doberman Pinscher, it's a more common than some other breeds, and there's no cure. There are some treatments to make his life happier and more bearable, but there's no cure. There are things that you can do, you can have checked for him, usually I'm between four and six years old is what they say he starts developing. Uh, the symptoms and the symptoms are going to be he's going to be lethargic he's not going to have the kind of energy that he once had he's not going to have the ability to run as far he's going to get tired faster same things with people with heart disease because it's basically it's a heart disease and with this heart disease it's going to cause him to be more tired and things like that things that you can do for him they have blood pressure medications they have things like that that can help uh, but there is no cure. Now, my opinion, my opinion is that it's just like us. You know, when you get a heartbreak, or you get something that makes you really sad, you feel it in your chest, you feel it in your heart, and it's been shown that that uh, has, you know, causes problems with people's hearts, and I think it can cause problems with his too. So I think love and affection, time and care, and be mindful of his feelings. Be mindful, mindful that he does have feelings. He hurt his mommy a little bit ago, uh, because he gets really excited like he is right now when he gets to go bye-bye. See, hey, what are you doing? See, you can't do that. I know you're excited and want to go, but you can't do that. You have to be patient. Yeah. He's, he's going to get in real trouble here. Hey, listen, you stop that. You stop lunging on the leash or you're going to be in trouble. You hear me? Don't you do it. Wait, you wait. Wait. You wait. Okay. All right, good boy. You did good. He gets excited, mommy, and he forgets. Hey, Cruz. I bought you something. <laughs> I got you a magazine, and in this magazine, we're gonna learn how to stop you from barking. You don't even look at your magazine, huh? Biting. Check what? I, I, but I got it for you. Yeah. And chewing and digging and jumping. He's like, but dad, I don't do any of those. We got it for you. Okay. And I also got you some treats. <laughs> all right. One. Okay. Oh, you've already ate all the chocolate chip cookie looking yeah. ones. Look animal we curtain. can work on the barking. How you put your woman in a good mood. <laughs> you found her bunnies. Little bunny. Little rabbit. Look at this one. Tell me they're cute. Yeah, they're cute, cute. So I think we have to take the bunnies shopping now. Yep. Hang on. Let me show you my other bunny. You don't want to leave them in the truck with Chris? No. I want to take them. Look at it. This is Mr. Stash. Stash. <laughs> Mustachio. <laughs> So, DCM is one of the main leading reasons that Dobermans are living shorter lives today. Cruz, are you going to be like camera shy? When it comes to Cruz, we know our baby. We might not know everybody's Doberman. We know our Doberman. Hey, I'm going to introduce you guys to the newest member of our family. And it is Frank Gallagher. Frank is a catfish. Now Frank now shares a tank with Grouch, right there. He's curious. Cruz has been really, really curious about the fish. He don't know if they're a threat or not. He, he hasn't decided whether he likes the fish or not. But Frank is a catfish and catfish are mostly blind. So he spends most of his day trying to see if Grouch is small enough to eat. <laughs> and Grouch spends most of his day swimming away from Frank. So that's pretty much our day here, and Cruz spends a lot of his day wanting to go bye-bye. <laughs> he wants to go bye-bye.
if you've enjoyed watching our videos, you should consider being a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. And the reason I say that is because it lets us buy more equipment and more things. And we've only got a few patrons. We don't make really any money off of it. But we want to buy more gear and more video equipment and be able to show you uh, new angles that you've never seen of crews and never seen of, of dogs and be able to do more things with him that we can share with you guys. So some people have told us they kind of live vicariously about having a Doberman through cruise and we want to make that the best experience you can have. So cruise. What are you doing to mommy? Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Give mommy her space. Can't just, he's, he's pushing up against you harder. I know. Oh. Oh, God, he's sitting straight up now. <laughs>